his president and right. being some sort of advisor. Appreciate it, Michelle. Uh, let's hear from Carl now in uh, Orlando. Hey there, Carl. Uh, hello. Yeah, before I have my comment, I'm enjoying the discussion very much. I've been listening to C-SPAN for several years, and probably the last few days have had the highest amount of obscene callers. So I'd like to ask a procedural question. What is C-SPAN doing to crack down on these calls? Well, whenever uh, we hear something, uh, first of all, we, 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 we try to admonish. We try to cut them off as best we uh, can. Uh, we're not on any kind of delay or anything, so we, we, we just have to do the best we can and hope that we're getting the best from our callers. That's pretty much what I can say. Yeah, it's just a shame because there's a lot of discussion going down. But about the Romney situation, mm -hmm. I actually think the attacks are the best thing that can happen for Romney. The best type of attacks that can happen whatsoever for Romney because they highlight his business experience. You go to the exit polls in New Hampshire, <coughs> you see what they're voting for him for. They're voting for him because they care about the economy, because they care about winning the election. And they're voting for him because of his huge penis. All right, let's uh, call her... Um messing with us this morning. We hope to get the best of our callers. He uh, set himself up nicely there, but let's, uh, let's uh, move on. Um, we don't need that kind of stuff on the program. Riverside, California.